Welcome to the first ever video tour that I've done of my apartment. It's so fun to show you pictures and projects, but there's nothing like seeing it in video. So you can get the whole layout and see actually what's going on. So welcome to my lovely sweet abode that I call home. I am standing in the entranceway right now, and you can see that it opens straight up into the living room and goes right into the kitchen and dining room, which is my absolute favorite setup possible. It sold me on the apartment immediately. So we're going to walk in and you see that I have a coat rack here, very convenient to the front door where I was just standing. And then I have my gray chairs with the new pillows I showed you a little bit ago that are everything I wanted this color scheme to be. It makes me very, very happy. And then I have some fun inspirational books there that I pick up from time to time. And some artwork taped on the walls that I'm going to be changing soon. It's the month of artwork, I'm telling you. And then it swings over to my entertainment stand, my TV. And then we're going to just do -si do over here to check out my kitchen area. This is where I keep all my camera supplies and kind of files and things that I grab pretty frequently. And a little cactus. I've had that probably the longest of any plant I've ever owned. Gosh, it's a Christmas cactus. And I've owned it for good like three to four years. That's a record. I'm thinking about getting some bar stools here. Just ones that go under really subtly, but I think that could be fun, but I'm not sure if I'd use them. So here's my kitchen. I'm gonna swing around and there's my couch with its pillows and blankets. That makes me now love it a lot and it's very comfy and it'll be a while until I get a new couch. And then the printout of some of my favorite artwork I took on trips, the engineering prints that make me super duper happy. And some things I've never shown you. There's some sneak peeks going on in here. Well, this is not a sneak peek, but this is my kitchen cart that was in the sunroom previously. And it fits perfectly here and I love it. And I love, this is my favorite spot for keeping fresh flowers. These are actually on their way out a little bit, so I won't uh, show you those too closely, but they're here. And then this is my dining table it may look a little different for you i haven't shown you this yet because it's not right it's not right yet but it's a different color this is my first shot at having a navy table it was previously green but what i do want to show you is this little plant here that i love to pieces and instead of having flowers on the table i decided to keep an alive plant and then this is its sister victoria because i named the plant because i loved it so much but i keep her in the corner and look at how pretty and pink she is you can't totally tell with the sun blowing it out right now but oh i love that plant so much i take very good care of her um and then this shows you a little sneak peek of my outdoor area but it's virginia and it's summertime and so it's hot so i don't really go out there but this is standing right at the kitchen table and you can see the kitchen and then this cute little, ooh, my artwork I made that I love to eat while travel often. And then the bookcase with my fun candles and tea and paraphernalia. And I'm totally one of those people who has very sentimental things on their fridge. So I have my calendar and little notes and things that people send me. I love handwritten notes and I keep them all here because I look at them every day and they make me so, so, so happy. So this is my kitchen. It is very efficient and I love it. Lots of good counter space. Has a nice little spot for the microwave and my tea kettle that I use all the time. A little sink there so I can cook and watch TV, which I really like to do. Um, and just kind of be all in one space. So this is my main area that I hang out in. And I love it, it's perfect. It's just what I need. Now we're gonna swing through the kitchen to what I call my studio. This is just a place where I keep all my craft supplies and really pretty things. Um, this actually, if you look at my Stitch Fix post, this is the wall that I do all my pictures in front of, so I kind of keep that one there on purpose so I have a place for photo shoots. Um, but I don't use this room a ton, but I, it just makes me happy because it's pretty. Um, I, ha I did read in here the other day and look out the window when it was a thunderstorm, and it was really nice. Um, and I love this quote so much. Not only do we live among the stars, the stars live within us. That is so true. 
But here's where I have lots of my travel paraphernalia. These are awesome. I don't know if I ever showed these on the blog before, um, but these are some of the soldiers, the terracotta soldiers from China. Love those. Um, and this is where I keep all my craft supplies and my bead bold. One of my favorite things I've done here. I use these all the time, so this is a really great area here. I'd still love something that fits really well under this bottom shelf here. I've been thinking about building something actually because um, I haven't found anything with these dimensions. So just more travel things. And then this area is still kind of a staging area a little bit. The bookcase I love. I made that all pretty and kept my favorite books. I finally color coded them. I've never done that in decorating before. And the guitar that I've been vowing to learn to play since I was 18. One day, right? One day. Um, yeah, so just another little place. All my wrapping supplies are right under here. And I'm gonna hang up this mirror soon. I'm telling you, put holes in the wall, things on the wall, it's happening. Anyway, so here is the bathroom. It's gonna look garishly like yellow because there's no natural light in it, but um, it's still great. So it's small, but does everything I need for one person living in there. Hello, hello. So this is my little bathroom. So where I spend my time getting ready in the mornings. And you know, the toilet, the shower, just a normal shower in there. Does what it needs to. And then I'll swing around here. And you've seen this area before with my organized area. Still pretty much looks the same because I found a system that works. Love it. I love too that. So this door that I just closed here goes into the studio and kitchen so you can reach it this way. And then it also goes into the master and only bedroom, um, which is wonderful. I like that there's two access points. So this is my bedroom. I'm going to look at, look at how lucky I am. Look at this view. I've also never showed this, but I have the corner apartment and it looks out into the woods and it makes me so happy. I just get to see tree and greens. Although I did notice that, um, this summer springtime when all the foliage came in, it makes this room a lot darker in the winter. It's a lot brighter in here, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna swing around here, kinda get from the doorway to give you a sense here. So this is when you first walk into my bedroom. Definitely some bare walls here that I'm getting excited to think about filling. Um, and then, so this is my closet number one, which is wonderful. This is where all my main clothes hang out. And the closet number two over there is where my off season clothes hang out. Lucky girl right here, it makes me happy. This is one end table. This is the sacred place of my journal. It hangs out there, woo, zoom. Um, and that is where I have been keeping it and journaling quite often these days, very therapeutic. And then this is my heater that's unplugged right now, jewelry case. And then this is my other area. I'm telling you, this book is great. Anyone who has done online dating, you need to pick it up. It's wonderful. And then I love how this little plant and the quote be here now. And then I have my little stool and my little photo box that I use for blog projects. Swing it over to the dresser where I have all of the lipstick apparently right now. And then my closet, you really don't need to see much in there. Clothes, stuff, great. Swinging around. So now we're making a full circle down the hall. I'm not gonna show you that artwork. I told you, nails in the wall. But I will show you my laundry room. I just did a reveal post of that recently and look, it's still looking good. Don't mind the crutches. I'm not using them anymore, hallelujah. Anyways, and then we're back to the living room. Hooray! Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my video tour and I hope that gives you a better sense of what it looks like in person. Alright, bye!